hello and welcome to episode 9 of our Timberborn Update 5 hard mode playthrough with the Volk Tales here in cycle 18, day 1. Last time, we had a little bit of a catastrophe with regard to our uh, water situation since the game changed the way irrigation works, but we figured out how to conquer it and we're going to be okay long term. But let's go ahead and pause real quick, take stock of where we are at the very start of this temperate season. It is cycle 18, so the likelihood of a very short temperate season and a very long drought or bad tide coming up very soon is extremely high. So we don't want to let time get away from us too much. Uh, one of the things we did last time was we started building this bad water rig. And the goal with this is to harness this bad water and make it so it's just constantly accessible at all times. And also not sending a whole bunch of, well, bad water all over the map uh, down here and around here, so on and so forth. So that's a long-term goal. we Probably won't get both of these up and running today, but that's something we're going to have to take a look at. We also have the option of getting a bad water dome erected here on this other one and just completely shutting it, uh, which is going to be a little bit faster for us to build than two bad water rigs. I think somebody or a couple people in the comments mentioned that. So we might look into that when the time comes, but it's probably going to be, uh, I would imagine, more bad tides than droughts as we get this far into the playthrough. So it probably won't even matter in the first place, but we'll figure it out. That's one of our goals for today. Uh, we also had our uh, bakery in the process of being constructed last time. And so many of you very kindly reminded me that buildings can in fact be flipped now. Uh, so we'll try to keep that in mind. Uh, and everything else seems to be going pretty well. But one thing uh, to note is that yes, the ladders have returned along with my email notification sound, but I will now disable theoretically. There we go. Uh, but I have to unlock them again. And in the interest of not cheating, quote unquote, uh, I will wait to pay the 300 again in a second when we actually get there. But other things, since I had to fix and reinstall all the mods is uh, none of our floodgates are actually hooked up to stream gauges anymore. So we really, really want to make sure this is taken care of before we get any further. And that's going to give us the opportunity to go ahead and actually use the same stream gauge right here to control both of these sets of floodgates. So we're going to go ahead and attach this guy. Or actually, I'll do this one just because that's a little bit further uh, down. So when that guy gets to contamination threshold of 1%. We will have that go all the way up. And below low contamination of zero, it'll go all the way down. So that's fine. This guy right here is also going to be attached to this same one, except this one's going to be the opposite. Remember how we had this set up last time. Uh, contamination high threshold of 1% means this gets set to zero. And contamination low threshold of 0% means this gets set to high. So that's just the binary on off switch for either diverting or allowing water in depending on the quality of the water in question. We also have up here this guy. We'll go ahead and attach this back. And this is going to be the same kind of deal. Uh, contamination high threshold of 1% and just pop that up and low all the way down. No changes there. We don't really need this one to be here, but I also don't have any reason to get rid of it, so we're going to leave that in place. Uh, we also have no longer automated our large water pump here uh, to turn off when a bad tide comes through. But, you know, it's it's really not ever going to get a bad tide in here unless I completely did this wrong. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to make sure this is set to unpause when the temperate starts, and that's the only control we're going to make. I want to make sure I have manual uh, control over all of that. And this guy right here... Uh, we're just going to leave this alone. Uh, we'll just manually pause it if we have to. Uh, over here, however, this is the one that is only going to be running during a bad tide. So I'm going to unpause when the bad tide starts, and we'll pause when a temperate or a drought starts. That's the only reason this guy needs to be working. So that's taken care of. We're looking good. Next thing we really need to pay attention to is the amount of water we have stored. We only have 48 uh, we're at the very beginning of a temperate cycle. But uh, like I said earlier, the likelihood is very high that we're going to have either a super long drought or a super long bad tide. So we need to make sure we're getting water into storage. We need to build more storage. We need to make sure we are all taken care of, good to go. So to that end, I'm going to finally build the second large water pump. 
uh, prioritize that with an absolute quickness. And we will uh, get them rolling in here because we really, really need to store up some water. Especially if we have a long drought or, well, drought or bad tide, it's going to be the same result. Uh, we would absolutely pump this entire thing dry just trying to keep the beavers alive for the maximum drought length of, what is it, 29 days in hard mode? So that's going to be our priority there. We'll unpause, let them get to work with that. I don't think they're going to be able to do anything on this first day because it is almost the end of their working hours. But by prioritizing this, uh, the treated planks that we are currently making to put into the Badwater rig will instead, well, the 10 of them that we need will go in here along with the gears and the logs, we should be A-OK. -okay. Eventually, we're probably going to want more than two of these, but I don't have a, grid, a good place for any more of those just quite yet. We will get there in due time. So that should be looking pretty good. Uh, these are all lowest priority workplace, so we'll take some of those guys out, I'm sure, to work here in the large water pump. So let's go ahead, triple speed, and get going on pumping because we definitely need to be pumping. Other things you guys mentioned in the comments, uh, a bunch of discussion about good strategies for uh, building on top of our little uh, irrigation areas. And we are going to finish and fix a lot of that stuff, so don't worry. Uh, but other things, uh, aside from the people roasting me about forgetting you could flip buildings, there's a lot of discussion about path irrigation. Like right here, this thing right down the middle, if we had water running through it, if that would be a good idea or not. And one of the things that we're going to be doing is getting back into dynamite production, but we have to have bad water for that, and we currently don't have enough to really be worrying about it. So we will see what happens when we get there. Uh, we have thirsty beavers, and this is actually already built, which is fantastic. We just don't have any water to pump because the water hasn't reached all the way down here yet. But it will be in sooner rather than later, and that should be good to go. Obviously, we want to make sure we have enough storage, uh, but it does take time. I'm going to go ahead and extend the working hours just so we can start pumping a little bit. Uh, so the beavers don't all die of thirst because we're all very, very thirsty here. Oh, and another thing I didn't consider, this is not open because these were previously automated. Uh, and I had a whole bunch of people suggest, oh, why don't you do... XYZ. Hey, there we go. Bad tide approaching. What did I tell you? <laughs> I had a bunch of people give me all sorts of different complicated ideas for uh, fixing this, that, and the other. And uh, I can't do that kind of math. Not off the top of my head. And no matter how you choose to explain it in the comments, I probably am still not going to understand. I'm sorry. That's just how my brain works. So uh, somebody, somebody was like trying to get me to do something that would just jiggle this up and down constantly. I, I, I appreciate it. But I, I don't think I'm going to have the mental capacity to actually, you know, accomplish that at all. So we'll just we'll just see what works here. I am curious, though. Ah, this is not working correctly. This guy, uh, contamination threshold zero. So this should be. Yeah, it should be. It should be f all the way up. So what's up with that? If I just have the default height to 2, is that going to... Uh... Yeah, what gives? What's up with this? Height above high contamination, 0. The height below low contamination. Maybe I have to have this set to 1. Okay. What's up with... Alright, that's kind of weird. It, it works fine the other way. I was wondering why this wasn't overflowing. But that's uh, fine. And wouldn't you know it, I had the 24 hours for more than a full day. Uh, the, the Beaver Rights Association, I'm sure, will come and kill me in my sleep. But life goes on. We've got a little bit of water stored up, and we're looking much better. In terms of storage, uh, we probably need to get a large tank going. But I don't think I can actually build one of these before the bad tide starts. So instead... Yeah, instead, let's just focus on getting this... Stuff we already have as filled up as we can. Everything seems to be looking okay. And if it's a bad tide, we're not going to have to worry about the issues with the uh, water wheels not generating enough power because, well, it's going to be making a ton of it since there's going to be all sorts of bad water coming through here. 
So we'll just let these guys do what they want to do. And we'll be A-OK. -okay. So uh, one thing that we need to start doing is migrating uh, some of our buildings to on top of these water areas. Like this farmhouse definitely needs to go on top of here. But I did say I was going to put Alito there. However, comma, the Alito is not actually a good, uh, a good option for this particular spot. Because it's kind of far away. So maybe, maybe we do just leave this one as a farmhouse only. But regardless, that's going to be... These are three deep. Uh, these are going to have to be covered up here. So I'm going to have that go all the way down. And what we'll do instead, because of how this is going to be set up, is we're going to put the farmhouse on top of this part. And then the dump over here. So this bit here actually doesn't even need to have a platform on it. We can save a little bit of stuff there. And in fact, I don't even need to blow that up if this is how this is going to be. That will be just fine, and we'll leave that alone. I'm not going to worry about putting these on a timer or anything, because they're probably going to be taking up a whole bunch of space anyway. So that's going to solve that problem. That'll give us six more squares back here for farming purposes. Even though, theoretically, the smarter play is to put it somewhere like right here. Um, I did not think it was going to be that big of a problem for us to just rely on this to irrigate since so much of this is going to be uh, retained with some water here. So, uh, I have not started making the explosives at this point because uh, I want to make sure we harvest as much bad water as we can, but... Remember, this is going to be a bad tide, so we're not going to run out. So it really uh, it's not going to matter. 27 days! Okay, I am glad we uh, <laughs> glad we put this in. That was going to cause us all sorts of problems. Just absolute bonkers amounts of problems. Oh, and I remember why I didn't do this. I was going to triple dynamite this down so we could get the full 3x3 experience. And uh, same thing here, so let's... Let's not forsake our good thinking here. Yeah, I'll turn that explosives factory on. That should be fine. Now, a little bit of a nail biter uh, thing here. To see if I actually have this set up correctly. I think it's going to be fine. If not, we'll just manually uh, fix the problem as best as we can. Yeah, this filling up. I believe I have calculated this correctly. Yes, no flooding down here. All right, and that worked. I don't think any bad water got in. If it did, it wasn't enough for it to matter. So it looks like we are all good to go. I'm going to raise that one all the way up so this retains water a little bit quicker. And we are, yeah, we're looking pretty good. About to get some of this explosion. Explosion. Wow, what even is that word? I speak English well. Um, yeah. Going to get this taken care of. Build it back up on a platform, and that should be quite nice indeed. Yeah, so we already have a thousand. I already have a thousand water stored. That's not going to be enough, obviously. But we will see what happens. We've got bad water going. We've got all sorts of fun stuff. And uh, irrigation is kind of working. I remember that I wanted to have this whole thing uh, irrigated all the way back here. Just because of the way the mechanic works. I believe, however, if I were to do these back here, this should irrigate a lot more than just having a trench. So we, we will probably keep this little extension here, but I believe I believe this should go out to about here. Maybe. Be okay. We will see what happens. And this whole this whole bit right here obviously is going to continue uh, consuming water, but I am going to go ahead and pause these two just so we can make sure that we're not completely being stupid here. All right, is this going to be a... Triple. Okay, we're waiting for the actual explosives themselves. Where are they going? So I thought I had uh, removed all of those. 
Huh, okay, well. That's fine. We will take care of that. No problem. This is going to be another farmhouse. And then we can move this guy out of the way there. That can go right there. Now the fluid dumps can go in. That'll work out very nicely. Efficient farmhouse there. And then that guy can go and that guy can go. And I think we'll be in a much, much better spot. And then right here we could actually put a third large water pump if we manage to um, get all the rest of our blasting accomplished. So that's going to be an interesting... Uh, Interesting thing for us to get into, because I think this is, yeah, that's going to be three deep, and we want it to go four deep under the straw, although I don't really think it matters. So why don't we, yeah, how we have this set up, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, get that going there. Oh, I wonder why, oh, I know why. It's because I have, <laughs> yeah, these all turned off. Okay, well, that would do it. Let's uh, Let's start making some of these again, shall we? Seems like that could be potentially a smart idea. Oh, wow, we're actually looking pretty good on this. Treated planks and gears still lagging behind slightly. But that's not really that big of a problem. Why haven't we built the... Ah, it's the gears. Okay. They're making bread at this one. That's how that's set up. Yeah. Now my problem is I don't have enough... I don't have enough beavers. But all these inventors set to uh, minimum priority should be helping out quite nicely nicely with that. Let's go ahead and unlock our ladders again. And I'm going to put these guys right back where they belong. And now we can get back up here to get some more metal, which we are going to need probably pretty soon. Which brings up our next problem is I want to make a way to shunt the bad water off the map. And I think think that would make the most sense to do it on the backside. Obviously, this is thinking way far ahead, but I want to, I think I mentioned this at the beginning of the series, just have a straight path all the way off and just have automated floodgates to open and close to shunt bad water off and let good water come through. But as a couple of you have suggested in the comments, we also might want to have a way to get good water here faster. Maybe off of this corner right here, I think might be smart. So what that would entail is creating another channel that would open with the appropriate level of contamination and feed good water this way and then probably somewhere around here. This is all stuff that's going to take a really long time to get to, but we're going to want to make sure that we kind of plan for it. We have all this space up here that we're not currently using that isn't really that far from our, our, our housing core, I guess. So what I think we should do is take advantage of this space uh, for more housing and for recreational things and possibly uh, a secondary industry area, depending on how we want to have things set up. We could pretty easily put water wheels in here and figure out some stuff, but we, of course, have to have uh, our ladders put back in. And this is done here, so these guys are going to be gone and we can use this space to plant some additional crops uh, wheat, I think, honestly, we're going to be fine with the amount we have here. I might even cut back some of this from being planted again as wheat in favor of planting some additional potatoes. Carrots, we don't even have enough carrots, honestly. So we probably should, probably should be having some more carrots over here. So we'll just make sure that we're making appropriate use of everything that we've got going on. I think we'll be fine. Just got to be smart about it. So right here, this is now ready for detonation. And look how much more space that's irrigating nicely all the way to the path here. That's good. So this should be A-OK -okay for all of this as chestnut trees. Let's replant... Yeah, let's replant all of these. That will be very nice to have that done. Uh, this is because I got rid of the... Uh-oh. Uh, the water dump. The water evaporates a lot faster now. I don't know the exact math, but it is substantially faster. We're going to find ourselves in trouble here if we don't get the rest of these uh, platforms and everything put back in. 
So we definitely want to make sure we're being cognizant of that. Uh, we're pretty much full up on water storage. We have 20 days left of the drought, and we've already, yikes, we've already lost half a block of irrigation here. Let's let's pause these just for the time being. I know it's going to evaporate, but we also we don't have anywhere to put the water, so there's not really any point in continuing to pump when the beavers could go do other jobs in the meantime while we work on other stuff. But we need some more storage, and I think it would, if we're going to build large ones, it should be up here. We should have uh, different things spread out in different parts of the map to make sure we're making a good use of our resources. But the most important thing right now is to get... Huh, these trees were, uh, they were dying earlier. What's up with that? Huh. Uh, let's get, uh, where is this guy? Yeah, cut down all the dead trees, and then we will uh, gradually replant. This is all looking pretty good, except we are going to have to start dumping some water in here. And uh, eventually this is all going to be the same level, so it shouldn't be that big of a problem. We will see what happens at that point in time. This guy should... Oh, there's nobody here. Okay, that's why. <laughs> that would explain so much. All right, carrots. And we also want to do sunflower seeds, but that is not a huge priority because those do take a ton of, uh, ton of work to get harvested. So let's think about expanding our tree farm up here. This area obviously is a complete catastrophe as far as water retention is concerned. So what I would like to do is take this down three, take these down two, and then enclose this whole thing with levees since they can get up and around everywhere there. And then we'll make another three by three pool. In fact, we never did this one either. This is, uh, this is triple, yeah. We'll make another three by three pool right here, which should irrigate most of this. Uh, this land down here is not going to be irrigated uh, unless I put another one of those big dumps in, which seems kind of like a waste. But, uh, if I can put a pile on top of it, at the very least, it wouldn't be that big of a waste. We already have some stuff right here. So if I did one of those right here, that would get most of this taken care of. And I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing to uh, to have access to. We just need to make sure that we're being smart with how we have things set up. This is very easy to do things in a way that doesn't really make that much sense. In fact, what are we waiting on? Planks? Yeah, we're waiting on planks. Well, they'll bring it in, and it's already done. Excellent. Good to see. We are working on something here, folks. We're making it happen. So the way this stuff is set up, it makes sense to put a large tank right here, because we already have the medium, and we have the extra space around it, but behind it is not going to be enough room for another 3x3 three three, uh, because of the way the stuff is set up. We also haven't researched the large one, and we don't have the uh, ability right now to build it anyway. We're sending most of our gears and everything else over to this bad water rig for better or for worse. Uh, we're not going to be able to use it until this other part is capped off. But seeing how our uh, our whole thing is full, as far as bad water is concerned, let's go ahead and turn these things back on and get that rolling because I believe now would be a decent time for us to get rid of this bad water pump and put a dome here. Just for, just for right now until we can replace it with something else. Because uh, this bad water rig, if I am remembering this correctly, yes. We can get 40 per hour. Whereas these pumps can give us, uh, what, 3? So even just having this by itself with nothing else is still way more than we ever had. And that's going to be useful. Except, you know, we have to have 10 beavers to work it. We still haven't finished our ladders here, but the point being, we need to have a lot more housing to take care of everything we've got going on here. Yes, I, I do see the water going down. We are going to resume pumping at some point soon. But, uh, you know, in fact, might as well just do it now. 
Might as well do it now. We got 16 days left. Uh, the evaporation speed now is actually a huge challenge to keep everything the way it's supposed to be. And we need to, uh, need to continue dumping water, I suppose. Seems to be the thing that's in fashion these days. So, put this guy here, maybe put another one here, and then uh, up over here probably would not be a bad place for one either. So we'll just keep that in mind. This is already down one. Yeah, so we'll do... Yeah, we'll do that one right there, and then I'll put a double right there. That, sh that should irrigate most of this area pretty nicely. Got plenty of stuff to do before we get to that part, though, so don't worry. The thing that I'm starting to become uh, slightly terrified of is this water is about to be gone because we're pumping and there's not really any there's not really any safety for any of this stuff I, we do have this right here this is actually going to help us quite a bit but uh, everything else being the way it is not really uh yeah see there it goes not really inspiring a ton of confidence and uh since we're already like this I mean, I might as well. That's a fun sound. And that gives us a little bit more space this way, but I uh, can't get rid of this. Oh, no, I can. And that's all gone. So now I've got room to do one more little one, even though it doesn't, doesn't really need to have this little thing blown up, but we'll do it anyway. That's fine. Okay, we got some space for some additional carrots here. There we go. And then uh, these, of course, are going to be potatoes as soon as they're all harvested. That should work nicely. We yeah, we maybe could have kept the third farmhouse, but uh, for the time being, I think we're fine without it. We will see what ends up happening. And also, part of the danger here of having this whole thing be set up the way it is, is we're now down an entire tile. And they're just going to be dumping a ton of water into this to try to keep these trees alive. But we really do need to at least splash them so that uh, drying out timer resets. Because we have 14 days left. And we're not going to make it if we keep messing with that. Alright, so that's, that's done. We'll let them finish these things. Because then we can start uh, deciding what else we're going to be doing here. This forester probably could use a friend over here. Water storage is nice to have. Oh good, the ladder's back in place. So now we can think about what we want to build up here. We got triple lodges. Actually is set up pretty well right here to have uh to have some of this stuff in place. If we did a triple lodge here, now we have the little natural staircase there. I could put something else. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, because the buildings are uh, mirrorable now. We don't have the we don't have the two small lodges. We just have the the one. We can just hit F and go do 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 the whole time. That's fun. But putting a triple up here, we're gonna want to have kind of a second nexus, like I was saying earlier, and uh, that's gonna be nice right there. We can also put in a campfire or two right here. In fact, I'm gonna get rid of this. And what we'll do instead is we'll just put another one of these here. There we go. Get that hooked up like so. And now the space for 12 beavers and we've got two campfires and we can start getting into some of this other stuff. Eventually we have that new fun thing, the, uh, the dance hall that got introduced, as well as all the different uh, recreational things. So that would be one of the reasons I would consider putting in some uh, water wheels here to power some recreational things. But definitely having some uh, additional things for the beavers to do and additional places for them to live is a very appealing, uh, very appealing thing for us here. So this is now ready to go. I'm going to have this, I think all of this with the exception of Oh, hold on. I had the wrong I had the wrong platform selected. That was almost almost a dumb move. Put that one here, that one here. What we'll do is we will put our dump 
right here I will put a forester, another one. Uh, actually, that one it might make sense to have maybe right about here so we could reach the most amount of stuff. I have this go all the way around. Move this to be a staircase. And then we'll want another one right here, most likely. And then, of course, we'll have our lumberjacks here and here, and then maybe a uh, tooth grindstone here. In fact, let me flip that. Tooth grindstone can go here instead. And this lumberjack flag can go there so they can reach a little bit further. Uh, that's going to help irrigate a lot of this. Uh, these that are already dead are already dead, so that's not a problem. And we can go ahead and start doing the same thing here with a 3x3. Three three. I think that's going to be the, uh, the smart thing to do. Alright, so you no longer have anything to do because everything's been cut down. So that can go away. There we go. Go do something else. Uh, we have already have these set for replanting. There's just nobody working here because we don't have enough beavers. And food supply is not looking... I mean, it's not looking bad. But the, the speed is not there for acquiring other things. Now, we do have this finished. That's a fun noise. We do have that finished. We have plenty of bad water. So I'm actually going to go ahead, get rid of that, and then we're going to come in here... Uh, I have... Oh, I don't have the science for the dome. Oh, am I going to be able to... No. No, we got we got to save up for the dome. Oh, that's fine. We will make it work. Things are... Oh. Uh, we're, we're sucking up quite a lot of water here. Let's pause this again. That's why I'm blasting this so far down across the entire width of this, because we, we need the capacity. We absolutely have to be able to fill this whole thing up in three days' time. Or I guess technically six, because that's probably the minimum length of time for the uh, for the temperate season. Uh, we will get there. It's just going to take us a little bit of time to accomplish. No reason to be too upset about anything here. We are making plenty of extract and explosives, and we really want this whole thing to be uh, to be looking good. These trees really, really need some water here. I think, oh, I might have to put another one of these dumps in, because I don't have any way of actually storing any over here. Or moving any over with mechanical pumps or anything. We're just, we're just not there yet. But we're making science. So, hopefully that works. Now. Oh, I just, I wish I could send these guys down here to harvest some more of this. So, I probably should not have deleted this, uh, <laughs> I should not have deleted the pump quite so soon. But, uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I think it'll be fine. Let's plant some more potatoes. Yeah, if I'm going to be spending the science, I really should be investing in the large tank before I invest in the bad water dome. But we have enough of these science things. We can make a ton of science really quick. We just have to have the beavers for it. These guys are doing their own thing here. And we want to have food storage up here. We only really have a couple of I don't even have the large warehouses unlocked. Yikes. Oh, there's so many things I should be unlocking, but I just haven't done yet. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. And this is going to take all this space as well. If I put a large one. So if we just go, if we just go mediums here, that's probably a smart thing to add up here. We'll do some grilled potatoes and we'll do, eh, I guess carrots because they're already here. So that'll make that nice and easy. And then on top of this, you know what we can do? Is we can put another stack of these triple lodges. And then we can have uh, something else happening up here. We will get that figured out. I'm sure there's all sorts of fun things we can do with all of this space. So we come out like that. Now that would actually work out pretty well. I could just put a, uh, 
Yeah, because we got ladders. Why not? Why not? Just put a stack of ladders right there. And then in the middle of this, I'm sure we could find something to do. Oh, you know what? I, oh, I didn't put that one in this playthrough, the frog statue. I was going to say, hey, we could put one of those in there, but I guess they decided they didn't want to do that. All right, so this is actually pretty close. We're just waiting on the planks, and that will be looking nice. This is ready to go, so let's get that. I know we're, we're just we're in an irrigation mood here today, folks. And the way that this is set up, yeah, I think, I, th I still think we need to have the, uh, oh, that was the wrong one. Well, they haven't built it yet, so that's fine. We'll put our fluid dump here in the corner. And you know the drill at this point. We've got our forester. And then we have some space on the back, should we choose to utilize it that way. This, yeah, that's going to give us the best coverage that way. And then we'll just come around the back side. Might as well just have it go all the way around. There's no reason not to. It's not like we're hurting for space here. But we'll put that guy in there, that guy in there, and then just because it's probably a nice thing to have, we'll put another tooth grindstone. So this seems to be a pretty good design for our uh, our general area here. Uh, this is ready to go. And yeah, that actually gave us a pretty nice boost. So let's go ahead, because of how this is set up, uh, I'm going to build another forester. We're going to flip it because we can do that now. Yay, we flipped it. Woohoo. There was much rejoicing. Um, once that's done, actually, I can just go ahead and get rid of this guy because nobody's working there. Anyway, that's going to give us a little bit more space to plant. Or, alternatively, to put another water storage or something else like that. And then we have this space here if we choose to do something with that. Uh, I don't think it's really that crucial. But we could possibly, could possibly, oh, we haven't unlocked any of this yet. Could possibly be in a kind of okay spot to do something over here. Yeah, it's just not really, uh, not really that much else can get done. So how about instead of this, I just blast this down and then we put a large water tank here. I think that would be a better use of this space than putting some of this other stuff in. Because we do have... Uh, lumberjack flags and everything already good to go and now this isn't full yet um yeah, oh yeah that's super not full yet once it is we'll have a nice nice radius go a little bit further than that oh yeah see immediately immediately just made it tons more okay so we have this space here we don't need to put another forester in because most of what we're wanting to do if i can even click on this will be covered by everybody else. So what we can do here is we can put in, oh, do I even want to, uh... oh, I don't even, I don't even need to make this a, uh... I don't even need to make that a triple DB. I can just make it a single. I can put the dump here and then on this, on this, I can put, yes, ha <laughs> ha, I can put the pile right back on top like it was. Because I feel like that was a good place to have logs set to accept. All right, and the water situation is getting a little dire again, so we'll turn this back on. Uh, things are looking pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, I think uh, overall we've done a pretty decent job uh, managing our crises today. Except for right here, uh, these trees dying is just... Uh, I guess unavoidable. It just really sucks because those maples are expensive. 0.4 days. Yeah, we're not gonna, not gonna be able to fix that. It just, it, it just can't flow in fast enough. Also, for those of you wondering about why it's happening uh, with this red, it's because of the way the game renders water, as we've talked about before. It's just a single sheet that it changes color depending on what the adjacent block is supposed to be. But this is not bad water leaking in. That's just a visual thing. Yeah, it is not. Not fun to lose all of this maple syrup potential and all of these pine trees because we didn't have enough water here. That's going to be something we really want to fix. Really want to fix for longer droughts next time. We're going to have to have some sort of a solution with the mechanical fluid pumps and larger reservoirs and uh, different methods to get water down faster. For sure. In fact, um, I don't have the resources to get up here though. Or else I would. 
Okay, we're waiting on planks here. Yeah, we sure are. Let's go ahead, since we're already we're talking about it earlier, uh, unlock our large tank, because we really, really need to make sure we're storing more of that. These guys waiting on that to get done. There we go. Yeah, let's just get this put in immediately. And now that this is empty, we can actually get rid of that. Yeah, because we're, we're like out of water. So we've been focusing so much on irrigation. Kind of lost the plot a little bit. So we've got a little bit of a little bit of a challenge waiting for us. We've got another 4.6 days without uh, good water coming in. And it's, it's really going to be another day and a half longer than that. And these guys are pumping like their lives depend on it because, well, I guess technically they do. And there's not really anything else we can, uh, not really anything else we can get done. We just have a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff we're trying to keep up with. I am going to go ahead and, oh yeah. Just for the sake of jobs, I'm going to pause, pause these three things so we can stop injuring so many beavers. We have 12 injured beavers. We do have uh, these medical beds. We probably need to build more because we haven't really been keeping track of any of that even. So let's... Oh, we got some space right here. Why not? Yeah, we'll just build three more of those. Planks don't need to be there, so that could be another medical bed. It's not pretty, but it works. So that will be A-OK. -okay. And I am just uh, a little concerned about how our, uh, our water situation is going to pan out here. I mean, otherwise we're doing pretty fine. I don't think we have that big of a problem lurking here. We just... Mm. If we run out of water, like run out, run out of water, they're not going to last three days. So let's take a look and see what is using water. I don't think any of these production buildings do. They use bad water. No, that's... I should know this, but um, this, these two things dumping has probably already cost us a whole lot of water, but I, I, was, I really needed to try to keep the trees alive. There's just no way that was going to be sustainable without the trees. Why is there just, oh, I thought that was bad water. No, that's a tank of maple syrup. That's fine. Yeah, we're just, we went through so much water trying to fill these tanks up, or these uh, little things here. That was just causing us all sorts of problems. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and manually pause all of our dumps because these are all full enough at this point that they will last until we get a uh, good water coming back in. We, we want to minimize the amount of water we are depositing and not actually drinking because our beavers be thirsty, especially since we've expanded our population considerably really, really don't want to have anything bad happening there. We also need to have some water storage up here, which we have not done yet. So I want to build a large tank. I guess I guess we'll just put it right there. No real rhyme or reason to how I'm putting this in here, if it wasn't obvious. Oh boy, we cannot pump any more water. This is going to be bad because, well, we're all, we're all not like death thirsty yet. But we only have, we only have this much water. Are, are any of these using water at all? I, I, I don't think they should or even can. But, oh man, I am just so worried about this. Uh, all these water dumps, are they paused? Um, why? Oh, they're fluid dumps now. Okay, duh. Um, that's for, why is this not? Oh, it hasn't been built yet. Okay, well, that's paused. So we're not going to use any water there. These foresters, why are they? Oh, because it's not constructed yet. All right, that's why. Anything else that could possibly use water? I don't think there is. We have three full days. And we have 77 beavers. And we have 65 units of water. Yeah, this is not going to go well. Especially because up here, there's not going to be any uh, any good water for quite some time. So here's how we're going to, well, we can't really solve it. 
but we can attempt to mitigate our losses here. So while we're still paused, let's see, that's a double height. Uh, come in this way like so. I'm going to build a pathway up to the top here. And I think what we're going to have to do, this is going to go all the way across. I'm going to have to have this come in like so. And then uh, our regular water pump is going to have to come in. Is this going to be tall enough? Should be. Oh, that's the perfect height. But if I have the large water pump, that's going to go down four. I'm not going to have the space. Is it going to take longer to build these? Because I don't have any... Oh, I don't have any planks. I don't have any wood either. Okay. All right. So can I... Oh. Yeah, I can put, I can put one of these guys here. Uh, the good thing about maples dying is they've got a lot of wood. So that will actually work out to our favor here. And we will cut these down with a quickness here. Get that done. Get that done. Uh, is there anything I can destroy to get temporary wood? Uh, we have gears and planks here. Okay. That's fine. Uh, plank storage. We have plank storage. I'm going to go ahead and up here. Just because we're already here. This could be plank storage. Uh, construction site, maximize priority on that. And then maximize priority on this. Then maximize priority on this. If we have this set up to obtain goods, planks wise, then we should, in theory, have all the planks sent here as they are created. Are these all unpaused? They are. Uh, gears wise, those are going to be paused. Those are going to be paused. That should kick out some of the planks if they're even in here. Okay, there's basically none that were already in there. That's unfortunate. Uh, what else can I get away with here? This will give us a couple planks. Yeah, it'll give us three. Now, every little bit counts. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. Retreated planks. No, no, that's not going to work. Everything else is kind of uh, kind of necessary. So let's... Let's um, minimum priority all of this. Come back down here. Because yeah, I don't want them using planks on that. Uh, I don't want them using planks on this. Which means they're not going to use planks on that. Which means this is going to get paused. Well, there's no water to put in there anyway. So, uh, that's our plan. Is to get... Come on. Just click that. Uh, get this built and then have all of the planks stored here. Then we can build across here, build across here. And then I guess for the sake of uh, actually getting water out, uh, I will put this here because this will be, this will be clean water well before anything gets down here. This will allow us to take advantage of that. So that's going to be a top priority as well. Put this in place here. And I'm also, I don't have room for a giant one or the planks or the anything, but I will put, you know, actually just to make sure it gets built. I'll just put one of these here. And since I'm having such a fun time cutting down dead trees, we'll just get that going. And I can also um, probably, if I put this here, they can, yeah, they can still reach both both levels. All right. So that's going to work out there. I think we're in okay shape as long as I can build. Yeah, I've got logs there, logs there. Oh, should have had this taken care of. These, these trees are marked for cutting. These are not. So I need to make sure this is all good to go. So we have we have wood. We've just not done a great job of uh, marking marking it for for cutting. That that does seem to happen quite a bit. But uh, it is not 
impossible for us to get this done. We just have to reprioritize how things are going. So since this is now unable to pump anything, don't be fooled by the water down there. They can't reach it. We'll pause both of these, get six beavers back. Uh, that still is important. Uh, this is probably all, probably all okay. These are deprioritized. I think we're good. After I spend five minutes with the game paused, let's uh, let's get let's get going here. See what happens. Who's even who's even building? Okay, we do have we do have builders. All right, Ace, where you at? There you go. Start cutting those things down. Let's get this let's get this going. Yeah, build build our plank storage, build our little uh, platforms here. Okay, we're not thirsty yet. That's a good sign. Two and a half days. This is something we should have done anyway. This is just kind of a kick in the pants for me, <laughs> for me to get it done now. It's pretty much immediately after this bad tide ends, we're going to have the good water right here pumpable, even if it's just a tiny bit at a time. That's going to be uh, well worth us taking advantage of. All right, so this is now ready to go. We'll set that to obtain. Planks set to supply. There we go. Very, very slow process, but we'll get it done. Yeah, we're out of water. We are actually out of water. So we'll see a bunch of thirsty beavers. Oh, wait, you know what? We have emergency reserves. He says, opening the floodgates and then almost not enough for us to pump comes out. That's... uh. It's the way she goes. Can I uh can I get these guys in here to pump even just a tiny bit? Okay, that's gonna help. That's gonna help a lot. Yep, waiting on planks up here. No surprise whatsoever. That's it's always gonna be a slow process. And it's gone. Well, we got a couple of uh a couple of beavers thirst quenched. We're just gonna have to trust the process here. In fact, uh, since we have some of the resources coming back, I'm going to go ahead and put another another pump right here. It's not going to pump the bad water, but as soon as this water is good, it will pump that. We'll let them take care of that as they have the opportunity to. But we definitely, definitely should have done this earlier. I had completely forgotten, and that is 100% my fart. My fart, wow. 100% my part. Brain fart, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, so that's uh, that's fun. Uh, one day left. We are oh, we're thirsty. We're thirsty boys and girls and whatever beavers choose to have as a system of gender expression. But uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We uh, we mismanaged our water resources, and it is definitely not an ideal situation. But. You know, it could uh, could be worse. What is this going to be a too deep? We need to have need to have all of this taken care of as best as we can. Let's do that. Threes here. There we go. I can at least have them detonate the rest of this out when we get there. Now we shouldn't be dying of thirst yet. We are very very thirsty beavers, but we are not very dead. Thirsty beavers, hopefully. Uh, let's check on... Okay, yeah, we got, we got some time. We got some time. We're, we're definitely not having a good time, but we are uh, not completely hopeless yet. Got wrenching on cars here, ready to go. As soon as that good water comes in, you can start pumping that. Oh, I just I would just wish this was a tiny bit faster. But, uh, you know... All things considered, it definitely could have gone substantially worse. Substantially worse. I mean, considering 27-day drought with uh, everything that we had, definitely, definitely, definitely not too upset about that. Yeah, so you, you see how, like, immediately this is already clean water? Yeah, we're um, we're gonna be hurting. We might have a couple of beavers die of thirst, but uh, we will rebound. Rebounds. We will rebound. We'll be fine. Just gotta wait for this to become uh, actually passable. Should see him start pumping here in just a second. There we go. Yep. And now we have some water again. 
after a really, really long time. But that just goes to show you there's always a way out of whatever kind of garbage situation you find yourself in or find yourself having put yourself in. So don't give up. If you're having a hard time in the game, I promise you it's nothing that is completely insurmountable. You just have to uh, be willing to swallow your pride a little bit and make it happen. Yeah. And again, we probably are going to see a couple beavers die of thirst, but that's just what happens when you completely run out of water. Again, that is not the situation you want to find yourself in. But uh, we managed to find ourselves in that, unfortunately, quickly and often. But it's working, and we're on the process of getting this double platform bridge put in place. So, you know, could have been worse. Could have been a whole lot worse. But now, now we have this good water about to spring this floodgate open, and a lot of our problems are going to be solved. Well, as soon as it's down to 1% contamination, at least. We should see this open hopefully soon. Hopefully, come on. 2%. 1%. What's going to open first, this one or this one? Okay, that one's closed. This one should have opened. Oh, it's waiting for zero. Okay. Well, it's not going to get there if this doesn't actually flush. So what's up with that? I guess I need to change uh, change the setting to be uh, 1% just to get this open. Come on. Oh, that's not the right one. Duh. There we go. And now I can put that all the way back, and it's going to be just fine. And we are pumping again. We are still very thirsty. I haven't seen anybody die of thirst. I, I know it's coming. It's not going to be not going to be avoidable. But now, now look at this. We have 26 open beds. Now that this is all hooked up. Um, oh, yep, there's somebody's died of thirst. Rest in peace. But hey, we have managed to uh, actually do pretty well here in the face of uh, everything else telling us that there is no reason we should have succeeded with any of this kind of garbage we were trying to pull. But I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to bump up the priority on this guy. The dynamite's important to put in, but it's more important for us to be able to actually pump water. That is very, very, very important. So, good thing this is uh, looking like it is. I fully expect for uh, this next uh, beginning of day four to be either a bad tide or a drought warning. So that's that's why we haven't ended the video yet. But man, we are, oh, we're so close to having this pump on as well. Oh God, what? Oh, I forgot this wasn't. <laughs> oh, I forgot this wasn't automated anymore. Did we lose our crops? Oh, we're going to, we're super going to. Oh no, please, please drain, please drain, okay. All right, so there's our drought warning. At least it's not a bad tide, right? Um, but one thing the drought is going to do... Oh, I need to make sure we have... Oh, no. Uh, I did it to myself. I, I did it to myself. I didn't build... I didn't build the bad water pump. Because now... We have this, but we can't use it because it's going to be uh, poisoning our beavers. So, oh, time to swallow my pride once again. Once again, and put this put this pump back in here. But it's not as important as having this guy done, so I'm going to have this be... Well, I guess I could just make that a double priority. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on, come on. Get this get this thing operating here, because we, we, we got a pump immediately. Absolutely top priority. Get that stuff going, man. Let's let's go. Then this, if we can pump even just a little bit of bad water, because it's going to be a while before we can actually build our uh, bad water dome. We don't have the science for it, first of all, but we also don't have the resources. We need 71 more blocks of uh, metal that we haven't been able to really do too much with because we've been in kind of crisis mode taking care of everything else. So that's, yeah, I never should have, never should have gotten rid of this. But hey, uh, bright and early tomorrow morning in-game, they will have this taken care of. 
and then uh, we'll get them situated pumping some bad water and then sometime next episode then this one is going to be uh, locked up as well so uh, as of posting this video it is Sunday uh, normally normally this would also be the Tuesday video but because we had so much stuff uh, messed up I'm not exactly sure what's gonna happen but I know I want to have another episode of the iron teeth and another episode of this so I guess we'll find out tomorrow what comes out tomorrow but we do have another one of each of these series going and then we're going to be starting to wrap up the water beaver series I know we're not going to get to the end of that one uh, by the time that I want to actually wrap that up but uh, we we need to move on from it one because I'm going to be out of uh, the ability to run that one uh, since I'm going to be traveling a little bit visiting some family uh, and I do not want to attempt to run that on my laptop. I think it would combust. So uh, we're going to end that series before I head out. And uh, I think we can get to a pretty good stopping point. But would uh, very much appreciate your feedback on this one. Obviously, as we uh, continue moving forward, we've got lots and lots of fun stuff that we can get into. And uh, as I always say, it is a let's play, not a watch me play. So I do very much value your feedback, your contributions and look forward to figuring out what we can do and accomplish together here. Yeah, that is just about going to be the end of this one. Uh, like I said, got a lot of good stuff going. Uh, we have, crucially, now three of these over here. Uh, we're working on the fourth. I don't know if we're going to have the ability to actually get that really rolling for too long, but we are going to do our best to get it done. And before we get too far here, I do really need to make sure that at least the end of this is uh, ready to go. Because they can continue uh, blasting this out, but I need this to be holding water before we get too far ahead of ourselves. Yeah, so get that done. And get this done. Get this done, I guess. Yeah. We'll go ahead and set that off. So that way we'll store a little bit more water and they can get in the process of doing that. Um, I don't know how long the drought's going to be, but uh, we are absolutely going to have to have every last drop of water we can possibly get in here. In fact, I should have oh, done I should have done this. I should have had this ready to go. Is that triple deep? No, it's just a double. Okay. I need to have three here. I don't know if they're going to be able to get it done, but we need we need to have these connected because I can't I, I can't uh, I can't not have those connected there. I'm hoping it's not a long drought because that would probably cause us a whole lot of problems. So we'll see what happens, I suppose. Yep. So this is going to be a good time to go ahead and uh, actually start the process of getting you guys out of here. I very, very much appreciate you, as always. It feels like I say it a lot, it was because I do, but I also, I really, I just appreciate everything that you guys have done to uh, create a great community, be very supportive, and give me a really fun job. It is, I, I just can't believe I get to do this for money. This is amazing, and I am very grateful for you. So whatever it is that you're doing with the rest of your day, hope that you stay safe and have fun, and we will see, oh my god, it's a 30-day drought. I thought you could only go to 29. All right, so... On that bombshell, it's time to end the show. Uh, man, I miss old Top Gear. What a great show. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll catch you in the next one. I uh, don't know which episode's coming out tomorrow, but I guess you'll find out when I post it. So again, stay safe, have fun. Very much appreciate you. Beard Boosters as well, all those fantastic folks. Take care, and we will see you on the other side. Bye-bye.